It's so good to see everyone. Auntie Sheila is in the house. We're getting ready momentarily to head out for our walk together, but I felt like you know, I just need to set this up a little bit. Today's message, get your priorities straight. And I'm giving it to you straight today. You know, I heard from Lindy. I'll get into that on our walk. If you don't have your shoes, get them ready, get some water. We need to stay hydrated out there. But if, if this is not a dress rehearsal, everyone, I don't know how else to say that. And Lindy, you know, hanging out most of her college semester with her boyfriend, messed up on several levels, may not be able to stay at the university. And she hit me up for some advice, and I'm just going to give it to you straight, just as I gave it to her. Uh, a lot of times we're focused on someone so intently, we may be stressed, we may be losing sleep, we may be having the time of our lives. I'm not a prude. I want you to have a good time. I like to have a good time. Work before play. You've got to take care of your business or the final result could be something that is not pleasing to you, is not putting you forward in life. I cannot stress it enough. Check in with yourself while we're on this walk. Because like I said, I'm laying some more out. But you got to know what your definition of the prize is. Keep your eyes on the prize. Have your fun. I get it. But this message is about taking care of some business. Join me out here on the trail. I'll see you in just a minute. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much and welcome back to The Lift with Sheila Robinson Kiss. We've got it all here. Mental health, movement, motivation, you name it, and the best relationship advice around. I'm back in the park. Um, this is one of my favorite spots. It's a fairly new area, but I just love it. It's so peaceful and tranquil. And I'd love for us to start out the way that we do it here which is making a wish close your eyes and make a wish think about what you are manifesting in your life what you want to manifest and bring about focus in on that and go ahead and make your wish and we're going to jump into our topic for today okay did you make your wish <laughs> i made mine let's start walking um I heard from Lindy, but by the way, uh, before I forget, if you're loving what I'm doing, don't forget to share the news of the channel with your friends and family uh, and get them subscribed to because you know I'm bringing you the great information every week on our walks. So I heard from Lindy, this note really touched my heart because Lindy is a college student, and I'm going to summarize what she shared. And basically it was, Sheila, I've messed up. Um, I may not be able to return to college. Uh, I spent this semester, met a boy, <laughs> or I should say a young man, hanging out, having a good time, um, I, just not taking care of business, her grades. Uh, have slipped a lot of things going on that have nothing to do with the main purpose uh, of why she's on the campus so Lindy I'm I am more than delighted that you reached out boy do I have uh, some information for you uh, I called this message today <laughs> get get your priorities straight everyone it's not just Lindy I'm talking if you, if you reach out to me I'm going to give you the wisdom as it is laid out inside of me and the title of our program today is get your priorities straight so I'm gonna say one more time you guys we don't know okay life is very short you gotta have your goals they need to be targeted and let me, um, coming back to you, Lindy, but 
my grandfather was a very wise man. You hear me talk about him a lot. And he was just really big on just flat out, take care of your business. Take care of your business. Have a fun life. Kick it, rock it, whatever you want to do. But take care of your business first. I never forgot that. And let me um, share something with you all. This channel, you hear me talk about loving life and God and spirituality. This by no stretch of the imagination. Don't kid yourself. I am not a prude, guys. I'm really not. I have to tell you from age 25, age 25 to 30, I was, I was straight up, <coughs> I was dancing, like partying, where I would literally get ready around 11. I would not get home till around <laughs> 3 a.m. One of my favorite spots uh, to dance was the Wild Hair in Chicago. I mean, those were straight up, just, just <laughs> fun years, party years literally literally the time of of my life <laughs> that said and i think it was that way because i had worked so hard you know three and four jobs to get through undergrad and grad school just i was just so exhausted i'm like i'm finally done i took no spring breaks i'm like it's my turn my time and i share that with you so you understand yes I get it, Lindy, you want to have a good time. I was out doing the same thing, but guess what? My house was clean, or I should say my apartment at the time. Bills were paid. I took care of my business first. And I'm going to tell you right now, you're in the years, I'm guessing um, early 20s or so. And although it is never too late... I don't want you to think that it's ever too late to um, do what you want to do or need to do in terms of your education, but what I will say to you is you are in some very uh, critical, critical years. <laughs> you know, you, if you screw around right now, you know, you, you mess up this education, you mention you're on scholarship, uh, not that you can't recover. I, you know, never say never, but it's going to be extremely difficult. So I want to share a little bit more about how you can prioritize, how you can literally prioritize your priorities. Because if you don't get that down pat, really, you know, I get it. You got the boy and you're having a good time, but you'll look up. Here's an interesting question. Uh, your your scholarship is in jeopardy because of your grades. I will bet you. Drop me another line. I bet you his is not. <laughs> I'll, I'll bet you he has taken care of his business and he's going to be returning in the fall. That would be an interesting follow up if you let me know that. <laughs> and meanwhile, you've kind of just you know, let everything go. So number one. This is the number one thing for anyone who is struggling in the area of focus and not really tending to your business and minding your priorities. The one thing I want you to do within the next 24 hours of hearing my message, I want you to stop. We're going to do it old school. Get out a pen and a piece of paper. What is it over the next 12 to 18 months? What is it that matters most to you? What are you working on creating and manifesting? Get clear. Get clear on what your top three to five priorities are. That is where the lion's share of your focus needs to be. It's, it's, a, it's a simple mathematical equation. <laughs> You know, Lindy, if you tell me what's important to me is finishing this degree, getting through school, if if that's the case, the lion's share of your time, I didn't say you couldn't party, be with your friends, 
hang out with your boyfriend. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that the lion's share of that time needs to be tending to your studies, taking care of your body, make sure you work out, make sure you're sharp. It's a, it's a direct mathematical equation, guys. I mean, for example, this weekend I'm going, I'm going to go out, have a wonderful time. I have some cool stuff planned for this summer. I mean, I have a good time. I'm a lover of life. You know, I like to dip into the buffet of life. I'm just keeping it real. But the, the lion's share of my time, what's my priorities, guys? Uh, getting these mental health messages out, my work, my family, that's where the lion's share of my time goes. And I have a wonderful time. There's plenty of time to do all of that. But you, you will see if you don't keep your priorities in front of you, which brings me to number two, you have to have a method. Once you identify these are my priorities, my top goals, you have to have a method for yourself where you are visiting these goals consistently and you have them in front of you. Now that's gonna look different. That's gonna look different for everyone. Some people like to start their week out. Uh, I have my priorities and goals, they are listed in a journal that I keep, so I'm looking at that periodically just to deal with mind drift. And I understand mind drift, you get things going on. And Lindy, I'm sympathetic because relationships, especially romantic relationships, they will do that to you. They will take you off your A game. It's delicious. <laughs> that energy behind it. Again, I'm not saying don't don't have fun don't enjoy your relationships i'm saying you have to travel a parallel track a lot of bugs out here you have to travel a parallel track and while you are enjoying yourself keep those priorities in front of you and managing your time and focus now this brings me to number three of getting your priorities straight i love rewards guys <laughs> Everything operates. Ooh, these bugs are crazy out here. Everything operates for me. I'm sorry, guys. There's a bug in my eye. Hold on. Everything operates on the rewards system. If that bug come back, I'm going to have to stop again. It's the reward system. Find a way as you incrementally meet your goals to reward yourself to reward yourself this is so important lindy i'll give you an example and i'm hopeful that they're going to allow you to come on back into the university i'm sorry you see this my eye is messed up now sorry guys i'm going to keep going <laughs> i got the bug okay this is not cnn <laughs> so we're going to keep going we have to roll with it so lindy i'm hopeful that they're going to let you back into the university and let's go with positive thinking and say next year you know what you have a strong start you're doing well in three out of your four classes i want you to set up something where you reward yourself maybe that's a little trip maybe you're going to treat yourself to something whatever the case may be enjoy yourself and set up those rewards because you know how we stay motivated, guys? We stay motivated by seeing ourselves do things in action to push our lives forward. I'm telling you, just keeping it real here, I've seen so many people mess around during the important years. And you know what happens? You know what happens? You blink your eye. And it's like, what, what happened? I had this goal. I had that goal. I haven't reached it. Three years has gone by. Ten years has gone by. Where am I? I see it. I see it happen all the time. Time waits for no one. Get your priorities straight. You know, don't let anyone... 
get in the way of that, blocking your goals, hopes, and dreams. Because here's the funny thing. A lot of the people that you'll let get in the way of it, they're taking care of their business, guys. They're taking care. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. They are taking care of their business, and you're the one didn't study for your test, letting stuff slide, and you look up, and you've sacrificed all this time on their behalf, and there you go, and then they look at you and say, oh, my goodness, I, I've outpaced you. I, I would prefer someone who's focused on their goals, hopes, and dreams, taking care of business. I don't know what you got going, but <laughs> that's not for me, you guys. I've seen that play. I've seen that type of thing happen over and over again. So look, bottom line, take care of your business. You know I'm going to be back to keep you accountable. Uh, check out the other videos. Again, if you're loving what I'm doing, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll be back real soon with some more inspiration. Bye-bye.